East Idaho Eats, brought to you by Culling Professional Services. Hi, from East Idaho News, this is Caitlin Hart, and I am here at the Cuban table with owners Olguita and Leo. Uh, can you guys tell us a little bit about your business and how you guys got started over here? So our business is 100% authentic uh, Cuban restaurant. So how we basically got started is, so my husband's from Cuba, my family's from Cuba. Um, a lot of this is my grandmother, my mother's recipes, his family recipes that have been handed down from generation to generation. Um, can you tell me about what this dish is? So this is pollo la plancha. That chicken breast is marinated for 24 hours in our mojo sauce. Oh, wow. <laughs> and then um, oh my gosh. The black beans, which we forgot, usually go on the top of it. And then that's Cuban salad, which is onion, cabbage, tomato, cucumber, I can't give away all the secrets with the what's <laughs> in a secret then, recipe. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we have a lot of people like we need that recipe. So that's fair. So this is actually pretty famous um, in the U.S. This is called a cubano. It's a Cuban sandwich. Um, the meat that is in that is marinated and then slow roasted all day long. So I get here early in the morning, and it is literally just slow roasted and marinated in solids juices. Um, and then it's got ham on it, Swiss, pickles, and mustard. A lot of people think that that is from Cuba. I mean, literally, even people that come in here. Really? <laughs> yeah. The Cubano is actually not from Cuba. So when the Cuban crisis started with the United States, when Castro took over and a lot of people had to start coming to the United States, there was no food. And so as they would go to the fields, they started making the sandwich. So oh. it's actually from Florida, but <laughs> That's invented interesting. by Cubans, yeah. That's really cool. I know that, full disclosure, I've been here before, and this is what I had, and it was amazing. Oh, yeah. It's so, so good. Let's try talking about this next one, this okay. dish over here. What is this? This one is actually one of our little inventions. So um, a lot, you'll see a lot of Cubans like to eat um, eggs on their rice. I mean, that's just very popular. So. That is black beans mixed with uh, the white rice. It's called con gris, and it's got a fried egg over the top of it. And that is pistea palomilla. Um, that's marinated also, and then cooked in stock caramel and onions. And that comes with salad as well. Awesome. Salad. So what is this dressing right here? I think I missed that. that. No, that is mojo. That is the heart of everything. That's what we marinate in. That's what we cook with. That's what you dip meat in. I mean, everything. I've seen people pour it all over everything and ask for more. What is it? So, if I can ask, what is it made of? Or is that also a secret? Well, I'll give you a little bit of... So originally, the original mojo is made of sour oranges. But since we don't carry that here... We have to use orange juice and um, vinegar, and it's also got green bell peppers, onions, garlic, um, olive oil, and then a little bit of seasoning. Okay, that's really, this is amazing, first of all, that is so incredible. Let's move on to this one. Let's explain what this is. This is shrimp. So it's shrimp in a mild Creole sauce. Okay. Cuban food is not spicy, so <laughs> a lot of people think it's going to be spicy, but it's not. It's a mild Creole sauce, and the tostones are plantains, they're fried plantains, then smashed, and um, the white rice. Awesome. And that one is my grandmother's recipe. I'm just going to pick this one up, actually. That is amazing, yeah, too. And if you dip them, mix them, everything, most of this food is bit, mint and put together to, to mix and eat together. Okay. And so a lot of the tastes go together. All right, let's start with this one. What is this? This is an empanada picadillo. So picadillo is, oh, I love this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it is hamburger meat and it's in a Creole sauce. And that has onions, garlic, uh, green bell peppers, and seasoning, tomato sauce. And then that um, dough right there, we make fresh every day also. That is awesome. So what that about, has been a big hit. The empanadas. I can imagine. What about what are these? These are called croquetas, and so they're ham croquetas, and the ham is mushed up really good, and then it's cooked with um, flour. Um, there's some butter, olive oil, and normally when we serve it, we don't serve it with the cheese, but there's an option to buy the cheese. But it's really good with the Swiss cheese. All of this has been so amazing. Thank you guys for meeting with me and for doing this. And uh, there will be more information underneath the article. So you can catch them over here um, off of Hit Road.
up a hit right from Pit Road, T-Mobile. right behind T-Mobile. And uh, thanks for meeting me. Thank you. We really appreciate it. East Idaho Eats brought to you by Culling Professional Services.